Hello everyone. Welcome to Book Recommendation with me, Wumi Elabote. My chosen book for this month is Evolve Your Brain, The Science of Changing Your Mind by Dr. Joel Dispenza. I found it difficult to change some undesirable habits. I knew where I want to be, yet it was super hard. It was an onerous journey. One fateful day, I started solving the web on how to change who you are. I then discovered Dr. Joel Dispenza's interview on how to unlock the full potential of your mind. The interview opened my mind, then I went a little further by researching on the author and some of his book video to mention a few. This book changed my thinking, my life, and the way I perceive things. This is the most informative book I've ever read about the physical characteristic of the brain from a scientific researcher, but written so a non-scientist can understand. It includes how the brain and body interact through chemical reactions stimulated by our experiences and thoughts. The best out to book I've ever comprehend that explains how to change our mind to create a new and a greater life for ourselves. Here are some of the parts of the book that I liked, and they said, Can we accept that our thinking affects our well being? As human beings, we have the natural ability to focus our awareness on anything, how and where we place our attention, what we place our attention on, and for how long we place it ultimately depend out on a neurological level. If our awareness is so mobile, why is it so hard to keep our attention on thoughts that may serve us? Right now, as you continue to concentrate and listen to me, you might have forgotten about the pain in your back, the disagreement you had with your boss earlier today, and what gender you have. It is what we place our attention on and what we place our attention that map the very cause of our state of being. And the other part of it that says, what exactly do you spend most of your time mentally reacting, thinking about, and finally demonstrating? Whether you consciously or unconsciously fabricate your thoughts and your actions, you are always affirming and reaffirming your neurological self as you. Keep in mind that whatever you spend your time mentally attending to, that is what you are and the what you will become. When we no longer learn new things or we stop changing old habits, we are left only with living in routine. You know that, but the brain is not designed to just stop learning. When we stop operating the brain with new information, it becomes hardwired, riddled, and automatic program of behavior that no longer supports evolution. You know, this book actually explains step by step on how to change your thoughts. You just have to make a switch. When this negative thought comes in that I can't do it, you just try it and they tell yourself that you can do it. And they be looking at yourself like you've done it. Like your future self be wearing it right now. So directly affect the body the way we think, affect our body as well as our life. The more we think the same thoughts, which then produce the same chemical, which cause the body to have the same feeling, the more the physically become modify our thoughts. In this way, depending on what you are thinking and feeling, we create our state of being. What we think about and the energy or intensity of this thought directly influences our health, the choice we make, and ultimately our quality of life. As a matter of fact, most thought ideas that we made up and then come to believe, believing merely become a habit. You know, sometimes we think about something and they were like, okay, that's the truth. That shouldn't be. If you like who you have, this book is not for you. If you want to understand why you behave the way you do and want to change you, then get this book. If you want to supercharge your brain, the time is now. You have the power to invent yourself, to be anything and anyone you like. It is never too late. The information from this book will help you to develop the knowledge, attitude, and skills that will make it possible. You have the power to evolve your brain today. I'm sure you grab a lot from this and I'm sure you're going to grab this book. I'll see you next time on Book Recommendation with me, Wumi Elabote. Bye for now.